Hello folks, welcome along to the channel. I am the Customer Profit. We're back here with the ABC Journeyman and uh, this is club number nine, uh, Coventry City in the championship currently. And as you can see behind me, it is going ludicrously well. Ludicrously well. There is no reason that we should be in fifth, but that's where we sit. We were predicted to finish in 20th. We're doing a little bit better than that. I don't think we're playing particularly well. We're just grinding out results. And I don't, I do not have a clue how we are where we are. Really don't. It's not. We don't deserve it. Unless everyone else is just terrible. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's go and have a look. Right, folks. What I want to say, first of all, this is episode 132 of this series. So if you have been watching all along or you've just joined, um, big thank you. It's one of a nice long running series. I do like a plus 100 um, episode series, not necessarily to watch, but to, to make. Uh, the long running stories are always the most fun. And this has been something really different, this ABC Journeyman. And a few people in the comments have said they've kind of had a go at doing it themselves. If you have, let me know how you got on. Let me know your story. I'd love to hear it. Um, right, so how have we done this? Well, we're sitting here in February, so we've gone through the January transfer window and we've signed nobody because we have no money to play with. In fact, we're slightly over budget. So, all in all, we haven't been able to recruit. In fact, we got rid of a player. You see, Savon Clark, who was our third choice goalkeeper. I just, he was never going to get a game, was he? He was terrible. So, he's he's been released to Dartford for free. And so, we the wages are off the books. And Maximus Virtue, one of our midfielders. It's probably a mistake, this one. Um, he has left as well. But I, I don't really see a place for him at the club. So, he's gone to... Uh, Reading on loan in League One, so I think in their in that contract they they have got a, an option to buy him. So um, yeah, he, he I mean he did very well uh, last season, and, and and maybe I should have used him a bit more, but I just can't see it. Why why we should? He doesn't look that good, but we do need a little bit more in the centre of midfield but we are still we just don't have any money to play with it's a very very small squad we now know Luca Tilson who is retiring he's a squad player and he's he is not good enough really so he's not really been involved Fraser Danby's come back from loan uh, so he's just another body who thankfully can play at the back so that's good and Leo is on international duty at the minute and this is what he's up to he's in the Olympic qualifying games uh, South American qualifying and uh, yeah he has um, played in both of these games and he's scored in both of them as well which is rather nice um, for the Brazil under 23s in their win over Uruguay and then their loss against Argentina but very very good so he's going to finish up against Bolivia uh, and hopefully he'll get a start I don't think he's actually been starting the games he's just been coming off the bench and getting the goals so uh, yeah good luck Leo to, to get through that okay so this is how things have gone over the past uh, couple of months um, you saw the last time out the game against Crystal Palace that was the, the goal the equaliser from Leo we've gone on a really interesting run lots and lots of green dots which I don't fully understand but um, you can see a lot of them are very tight wins and just kind of creep over the line we've got a couple of losses in there tight losses and that's par for the course really so we started off with a really good performance against Bar Bournemouth uh, straight after that Palace game Charlie Allen, Leo, Landon, Flint scoring four in a 4-2 victory then Watford were the next on the chopping block we beat them 3-0 Leo and a Charlie Allen brace, and at that point I was thinking, we're going to win the league. But it all came tumbling down in the next couple of games against two sides who are frankly struggling in the league. Big thing here is we lost 3-1, but Danny Barhona has got himself a goal, which was pleasing. So uh, he's got his first goal for the club. He's not scored since, but um, you know he's, he's contributed to a loss. So well done, Danny. <laughs> uh, Derby, this was a 1-0 loss, never should have lost it, 0-0 all day, but we were not able to um, hold on late, late goal from them with really one of their only chances. But we made up for it, we beat uh, Crystal Palace 2-0 um, at home, Lidl and Leo with the goals, pleased with that, and then fell to a 1-0 uh, loss away at 
uh, Crawley, another one where I felt we could have perhaps got a little bit more out of it. I think a draw was more of a fair result than a loss. One beat Hartlepool 1-0 in the Cup uh, with Adam Flint's goal. And then we've just gone through a very, very good January. Uh, 1-0 victory over Burnley away from home. This was a great result. Um, not entirely deserved, but we got it. Phil Little with the uh, with the goal. Just beaten top of the league, Oxford. Uh, Allen penalty and a late, late Matheson goal uh, was able to win it. They had a player sent off early. Oxford are surprise league leaders and they are quite a long way above third they look odds on to go up with just a couple of months left so didn't expect to see them going in the premier league and then a a bit of a grudge match away against bristol rovers uh charlie allen with a goal and we just about squeaked through them got through the next round of the cup we're in the fifth round of the cup now we beat leighton orient little and van ryswick who's been out with injury but he sort of comes back in this game um, to uh, to get the win. So we come in here in a sort of final run in. Uh, we're starting that out with a game against Forest today, who are fourth. If we beat them, we go above them. And if we beat them 2-0, there's a chance we go up to third, which is utterly insane. I mean, it's a weird old season. I'm really struggling to understand how we are where we are. Um, but we just keep kind of grinding out results and... Um, that's kind of what we need. That's kind of what we need. So hopefully we can keep doing that. Uh, you'll see one of the reasons that we're doing that is clean sheets, 12 clean sheets, which is very good. You know, that has to... So we're in the playoff picture, and that does make me think, well, what does the... Lie, what does the How does the land lie up in the Premier League in terms of possible clubs that we could manage? And there's more than you'd think. We can go to Arsenal. We can go to Brighton, Chelsea, uh, Everton... Um, Brentford, Blackburn, Fulham. I think that's it. I think it's five, uh, seven clubs out of the, the 20 we could um, get a job at uh, based on the rules of this save. So possible there. But um, it would be even better if we could get up with this, uh, with Coventry. Taking Coventry back to the Premier League. I mean, that was a golden era, wasn't it? With Coventry there. Uh, loved. Um yeah, with uh, yeah, Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane uh, was uh, before he went off to Inter Milan. Yeah, just fantastic at Coventry. Right, let's go and play this game. So, a couple of changes here. Uh, we are going to sort of lead the line with Van Rijswijk, who's a couple of goals in the last game. Little on the left, Heath on the right. Heath's come in, done well. Um, Allen is back from injury, so he's going in the centre alongside Flint. Chavez just behind him. Um, and uh, Alabi is going to start on the left D, Kinch in the middle and Hughes on the right Harris isn't fully fit and we probably are not going to be able to play D for the whole match so um, that's why Harris isn't starting because he can come in for D um, and so that all makes sense to me Davis is in goal we've got some players on the bench <laughs> it's not the bad it's not the worst bench to be honest we've got the likes of peters uh, mattison allen of course danny barhones uh, who can come on so very very happy uh, with the squad at the minute it needs to be a bit bigger but um we're just about sort of holding on and we'll see if we can get a result here against forest don't expect many chances that's not the way it works right here we go come on what is interesting is that for, for some reason in this game, as Forrest look like they're just about creating a chance, there isn't, we aren't having all the possession, which tells me something about how Forrest are playing. Forrest definitely are having the better of this, which is slightly concerning, but here is Davis, plucks it out of the air from that nothingy ball in from the Forrest players. So I, I think Forrest are, are playing quite... Um, possession-based football as well as us but here's flint plays it long little doesn't get on the end of it for some reason he went for the long ball that's not how we play but kinch the center back <laughs> just gets the ball back and we've got a chance here little into allen and it's in it's in robbie the traction engine allen <laughs> scores his goal i mean he's just come back from injury and 
I mean, it's just lovely, isn't it? We overloaded it on the counter and straight in. And that is what we do. That is what we do. Barely create a chance and score. So 1-0 uh, up. Not deserved. So we get to half time. We sit now in fourth in the league. We've had our one goal, five shots apiece. Slightly better XG for us. Um, and we've actually started to win the possession stats as well. D is looking absolutely shattered, so we probably are going to have to take him off at some point soon, but we won't do that straight away. He'll have a bit of a second wind after the um, after the uh, half-time break, so we'll pop, pop him out and then we'll take him off after, probably after about 60 minutes. Well, Alan and Heath uh, have come on, and it's just over with the header from Forrest. So they're pushing, and again over with the header. Not quite sure. They're getting a few chances. They are. They have. No, they don't have the possession. Well, here's Allen at the back. We've gone along with that. It really doesn't work, but. You know, come on. They've gone to find a Raybar. Wow, off the bar. We are living a charmed life here. It is 1 0 still. Okar and Peters on just trying to keep um, keep us in this game. Here's Brazilda. Shoots from distance. I think that was off the crossbar, not the goalkeeper's hands. So still in this. But here's Robbie Allen. Oh, off the line from Varga. And infathomably, we go on and we have taken the win. Didn't deserve that in the slightest. We had two chances. One header off the line and didn't go in but there was the brilliant goal from Allen with one break of breakaway uh, chance that we had so we took our chances there did as what we could do and we've got the win and that puts us up I think in two fourth so just a ludicrous situation this whole thing I can't understand it folks but I'm I'm, I'm living this life it's brilliant so there we go, confirmation up into fourth. I mean, who would predict this is our top four? Oxford, Swansea, South End, all of the big hitters in this league uh, further on down. And we've pushed one of those, Forest, down below us. Uh, unfortunately, you can see Bristol Rovers are still struggling, but they have picked up a lot of points. And as I predicted, they are no longer bottom in the league. They are sitting ahead of Northampton, which I, I think, given how they've played, feels right. So this is where we are. Um, with the, the, the This is all the games left in the season, so not a huge amount. We're on quite a nice little run of games. Um, a six-game uh, winning run, which is slightly surprising. You can see the majority of those are only 1-0, but it doesn't matter. Lots of clean sheets in there. But we'll probably come back at some point in March. I don't know if it's worth coming back for the FA Cup. I mean, going up against Arsenal, who play in exactly this way, it just feels like it's going to be an absolute mess. But, I mean, who knows? We'll see how we're doing. Are we still in this uh, playoff picture? I can't believe we can carry this on all the way through till the end. I just do not believe it. So, um, I, I, I'm sure it will peter out before the end of the season when you look at some of the other teams in this division anyway folks we'll come back at some point here maybe home game against Villa feels kind of a nice one to come back for another um, Midlands derby okay folks well if you enjoyed the episode please hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel let me know in the comments how on earth you think we're doing what we're doing and have you tried this tiki taka formation and how is it working for you and i'll see you for the next one goodbye